sorting through this, what I want to first do is I want to go down and I'm going to go 100 per you know sheet so I can sort through it a little bit quicker. And keep in mind too that I didn't sort through ROI, I didn't sort through uh, you know my return. I sorted through the the sales rank, okay? Because I want to kind of identify stuff that's moving fast, but stuff that's going to give me a good ROI. So let's scan through, and I'm literally just keeping an eye on this ROI column. That's how I can do it so fast. And obviously, I would do this a lot faster if I wasn't creating a tutorial on this. But I'm scanning through and looking for something that catches my eye that I can make money on. So here we go. The first green one, 19.7, uh, one seven percent, right? Not something I really want to go after because I, while I do have a decent amount of cash to throw into this business model, I don't want to tie up my inventory or a lot of my cash flow, excuse me, for a dollar thirty-eight profit. Not really worth it. You might be different, right? If you have like a hundred grand to throw out products, by all means, go by all means go after products like this because you're gonna just flip your money. Maybe you're turning that hundred. You know, you're, what I'm trying to say is you'd be okay with lower profit. If you're moving money because you're flipping all your money at the same time, you have a little bit more cash flow and you don't need to worry about tying your cash flow up. I don't have a hundred grand to throw into products at, right now. I don't even have like 20 grand to throw into products yet. So I'm not going to go after low ROIs like that. I want a delicate balance, you know, where I'm throwing a couple grand potentially into products that I'm going to be able to access that cash flow if I need to, right? And hopefully sell quickly, but sell for a good ROI. It's a delicate balance. So scrolling back over, here's another 15.9%. Uh, That's 822 profit, so not terrible, but that typically means that I'm gonna have to spend more into this product to get it. So I might be okay with that. That might be okay. So you're spending 51 here. Not ideal. I've seen so many better products, so I'm not gonna go ahead and source this. But just to give you an example of how I would do this, if you click this right here, you can pull up the Amazon listing and check into it a little bit. So this is actually selling for 79.99. If I, if I bought it at 51.40, it's basically telling me here, and it's giving me the UPC identifier right here. So uh, right here, I know exactly what I need to go ahead and search for on e-distribution, or I can sort search through the name, which also is a lot easier. That's going to be huge and crucial for when I actually make my purchase order on e-distribution. Okay, so it's telling me that if I sell it at the buy box price and I buy it from EE at fifty-one forty a unit, and all the fees are right here listed, right? So the FBA fee six fifty-six, the referral fee is twelve. The variable closing fee is 180, so it's telling me I'm gonna net about 822, but I don't really wanna spend 51 bucks to make 822 every time. Not because I have an issue with that ROI or that profit margin, I'd be glad to make eight bucks, but only because I know that there's better products because I've done this so many times. So I'm gonna continue to go through and find a better example of a product. And keep in mind, a lot of these here, this is not, I mean, you're the more, more often than not, there's not gonna be profitable products on the side right here. More of them are going to be unprofitable than they're profitable because wholesale is competitive, okay? But because these are so low ranked, and I did sort through the ranks, literally right here we're 5,000, right? So super low ranks. It would, you know, you're not going to see that many profitable items until you get a little bit lower, but obviously you want to scan through, you know, and just to see if there's good opportunities. I think I bought one a couple weeks ago that was like, I want to say 2,000 ranked and had a good ROI. So it is possible you will see them, but just keep that in mind. So another great uh, thing about Scan Unlimited is how fast it is. So when you actually do scan this entire spreadsheet in, and keep in mind it's got like I think like ten thousand products, yeah, almost ten thousand products. So it scans it in in like thirty seconds to a minute. So you're not sitting there waiting all day to get your scan and all your information. So five percent ROI, not good. Not going after eighty four cents. Eight percent, not good. Let's scan through. And this, while it seems like, you know, for the, the untrained eye or the person just getting into wholesale seems like I'm literally searching through this and not finding many things at all. If you sort, sorted through this, you know, just manually and the people that have sorted through manually know exactly what I'm talking about because I've done it myself too when I first started before I had scanning software, understand just how long it takes to sort manually. This is a time saver, a lifesaver, and it's going to make you a lot more money. So here's a 19% ROI, but it's 86 cents, not my thing. 35% we're getting a little bit better, but only $1.27, not my thing. 32% with 474, not a bad one. Um, so we're spending 1460 per product. We're making like four bucks back, not horrible. I might target something like that, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try to look for a better example for you just because I want to show you the opportunity here. Now keep in mind if you set like an hour aside, you can probably find a good 10 to 15, if not more, products to buy. And obviously you're not just buying one of those, you're buying a bunch of those products. So boom, if you buy like 10 to 15 products off this just using this one software, and obviously you can you can 
you know, think just how much products you can source if you do this with, you know, not just EE, but all the liquid, all the, um, the wholesale sites that I go over in the course, just imagine how much potential there is there. So all you need to do is find a couple products and then buy a bunch of them. And this software makes that super possible. Here's a great example of a product that I want to check really fast right here. And, and this literally you can be set for the month, just buying a couple products like this and then scaling it up that way. So this is a good example, like I said, 126% ROI, 1243 profit. Where was that? It's right here. So let's keep an eye on that as we scroll over. It's a Silver Buffalo Disney Alice in Wonderland case. So let me click this to make sure it's legit. 3192 Silver Buffalo Disney Alice in Wonderland sculpted mug case, 3192. Is it actually selling? Well, let's run the Jungle Scout Chrome extension. 10 sales a day, 270 a month, pretty solid. That is the parent one, but obviously this is selling relatively well as well. Uh, and it is the Amazon's choice, so that's a good sign. Now, also, I'll link Jungle Scout down below if you want to grab that as well. That is another affiliate link, but it is a great way that you can basically identify the sales velocity and not just take Amazon's word for it. So if we did scroll down, it would obviously tell me that the sales velocity is very high. Where is it? Yeah, 17,000 in kitchen dining. So another thing is you always wanna take the ASIN into Seller Central and make sure that you can sell it. Although when you're sourcing wholesale, especially from a reputable company like EE, if you're planning on buying 10 plus units, you can always use that that invoice of this specific product and this specific brand uh, as a way to get ungated if you are, are gated for that. So just keep that in mind as well. So now I wanna go through and I wanna find, okay, here's the UPC. Now, because lately when I've been searching on EE, it doesn't actually pull up with the UPC information when I search it, which is a little strange. Uh, what I like to do is I'll go back in and I'll run a search. So I'll go control F on PC. I'm not sure what it is on Mac. And I'll literally paste the UPC into the spreadsheet and find it. So boom, here it is right there. Now I'm going to take the name of the actual item. So if we drag this over, I'm going to take, go away. I'm going to take the name of this actual item and I'm going to search that into the search bar on EE and that should pop up with the exact item that, okay, so this one's out of stock right here and this one actually is an item that I actually purchased. I'm not going to show you the purchase order, so that's why I want to get kind of give you an example. It looks like obviously this cat mug's out of stock right here, but the other one, the silver buffalo right here, I bought like 20 of these units last night. Um, that's how I decided to make this and, and kind of wanted to kind of touch home on this. So I bought 20 of these units last night. They were on here, but clearly they're they're either out of stock or on back order. That's why they're not popping up. But this is not the same mug. If you go over to the cat mug, it's not the same and the ROI isn't the same. So that was a great product last night. That shows you just how fast wholesale is. And that's why scanning software like this is super crucial. Let's find a better example since I hopped on that, but obviously nobody else can right now. So 32% ROI, $4 uh, margin right here. Let's check this one out. Rick and Morty molded ceramic coffee. So I'm gonna take the UPC because I wanna search that, but I also wanna check to see if it's a legitimate product. So Rick and Morty right here. And this is selling for, I think like, what is that? Uh, 18 plus seven is about 25 bucks, a little bit under. Uh, looks fairly decent. 18,000 in kitchen dining. So it's telling me that if I buy it for 1230 and I sell it and match the buy box price, I'm gonna make about 450 a unit or $4 a unit on this. So let's go through and see if it's actually in stock on e-distribution. So I need to go back to my spreadsheet. I'm gonna search for that actual uh, number. I'm gonna grab the description of it. So Rick and Morty mug, I'm gonna take it into e-distribution and search for it so that I can find that. And it should pop up with the actual item right here. And you wanna actually find that so it looks like Rick and Morty's mug right here. Rick and Morty mug right here. So that doesn't look like it's the actual mug. Um, so I'm gonna, oh, there it is right there. Boom, okay. There it is right there. There it is right there. Yep, that's the mug right there. But it is, of course, temporarily out of stock. Another example of how wholesale moves quickly. So there is a saying in wholesale that you want to be first to market or last to market, right? Because if you're in the middle, then you're going to be hit and stuck in a buy box race and a race to the bottom. Although typically when you are selling wholesale, even though there's a lot of competition for the buy box and on that listing, typically wholesalers are more experienced and they're not going to just drop their buy box price and race to the bottom because they don't want to lose money either, right? If if you drop the buy box and we keep fighting for a race to the bottom pricing, then we both lose and we're both out of money and profit and we're both stuck with inventory that's unprofitable. So typically when you are matching buy box prices and you're selling on a wholesale listing, there aren't that many on this wholesale listing yet, but I'm sure that will increase within the next month. Um, 
Typically, the buy box price can drop, but it doesn't drop as quickly as you should anticipate, as normally anticipated on like a bulk deal listing or a book listing, because a lot of the wholesaler, uh, the people that are sourcing wholesale items like this, are not going to want to drop the buy box price and lose a lot of profit, and they're more experienced. So let's try to find another example of a product that you can buy that is profitable and will sort through really quickly. And another great way, and especially with like reputable companies like EE, uh, they send out product lists. So you can obviously keep in touch with your rep and tell them to send you the product lists of all the new hot off the truck items. Um, that's a great way to be first to market. So literally they'll shoot you emails every single time there's a new shipment in for EE and a lot of other wholesale companies. So you can literally just respond back to that email and be like, hey, can I get a product list for this? And boom. Because they're getting commission, I believe, every single time you, you buy, they're literally going to shoot you back the product list super fast, run it through Scan Unlimited, and boom, you're in and you can be first to market fairly quickly if you're on top of your game and that's not too, too hard to do. So let's find one product that you can source that's going to be good. 38% ROI, 492. Let's check this one out. So BioWorld, Suicide Squad, Harley, it looks like a shirt right there. So BioWorld, Suicide Squad, if we're buying this, it's telling us that we're profitable. We're going to make about four bucks, if not a little bit more, spending $12.90 every single time. Let's search for it. So Suicide Squad, Harley Quinn Raglan shirt. And you could probably flip this as well on Poshmark Mercari, but obviously when you're sourcing wholesale like this, the typical idea is to resell it back on Amazon. So I didn't realize this is actually sold out. So that is another bad example of a product that has already been scooped up. All right, so here's a 25% ROI, not ideal with the profit margin, but I just wanna show you an example of a product that you can buy and source. So, Monopoly grab and go, let's take the UPC. This will obviously move very quickly because it's Monopoly and it's Hasbro. It's only 27 or 23,000, excuse me, in toys and games, I believe. So if we pull this one up, Monopoly grab and go, take the UPC and grab the info. So Monopoly grab and go. And the reason I don't actually just copy and paste, a lot of people ask me like, why don't you just copy and paste? You can, but like it's difficult to get it because it's gonna click into that. So it's very hard to grab this actual thing right there. So that's why I take it back in to the spreadsheet. And temporarily out of stock. So this should come back in stock because it doesn't say out of stock and it doesn't say back order, but that's also a bad example. Not getting a lot of, uh, you can tell I didn't set this up, um, not getting a lot of help today, but that's okay. That, that can be, that's typically how wholesale is gonna be, right? So you wanna sort through, this is gonna save you a lot of time. It's only probably been like 15 to 20 minutes sorting through this, as opposed to a couple of hours to find one good product. Now, I did this last night and I bought three products. I probably bought, I think 15 of the one, 10 of the other, and I think 20 of the actual one that I showed you. Uh, so it is very, very possible. It doesn't take a lot of time, but you do need a little bit of patience to sort through. And there's a 5.56, 4%, all those are deep. This one's not bad. It's 16% ROI, but it is $6.79. So not horrible. I am sp spending 41 bucks to get this, which is not necessarily ideal, um, but I do wanna see if this is in stock to see if it's a good product. So the coop, it looks like a backpack and 65 bucks so it is profitable probably if it's in stock take it into e-distribution and boom and it is in stock so finally a great deal that we can buy now this is not an ideal one obviously because you have to spend 41 bucks to make back 679 in profit right so you are it is profitable it is a decent buy so it is going to move quickly it is in uh, 29,000 in video games. So pretty decent buy. I would look more into that product, obviously, but that's an example of sourcing through Scan Unlimited and the power of utilizing this software to actually sort through wholesale sites like EE Distribution.